Well, this week marks the anniversary of the atomic catastrophes on Hiroshima and Nagasaki, Japan. Today, Japanese attention turns to other nuclear concerns. Tensions in Japan are rising over the radioactive water leaking into the Pacific Ocean from the country's crippled Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant, which was devastated by the earthquakes and tsunami of 2011. Joining me now in studio to discuss the radioactive leak is Paul Gunter, director of the Reactor Oversight Project at BeyondNuclear.org. Thank you for being here, Paul. We really Thank appreciate you very your much. Presence. Now, I'm going to start off by asking you, can you tell us how long the contaminated water has been, how long the contamination has been leaking into the water? Very likely since the uh, explosions and the meltdown at uh, Fukushima Daiichi in March of uh, 2011. Wow, that, that is quite a long time. Now, how much and what sort of radiation is leaking into the Pacific? I know there's all different types, so if you can explain that right. in a little detail. Well, clearly what we've seen now is the movement of radioactive hydrogen, tritium, uh, which uh, is a uh, mobile uh, radioactive isotope, but clearly um, radioactive cesium-134, 137, strontium-90. We're seeing a full range of radioactive contaminants now moving, which indicate that uh, the damaged cores of these reactors, the meltdowns themselves, uh, have, are now contributing to the contamination of the Pacific Ocean and groundwater that's moving at a, about a, a rate of a 300 to 400 gal, uh, uh, metric tons uh, per day. So, but these uh, numbers are really um, only approximations and will vary, but clearly a lot of radioactivity is moving through groundwater into the ocean. Now, why is the plan continuing to leak? You'd think they would have, or maybe they already have, taken steps to contaminate some of this leakage. Well, they, um, they have, you know, TEPCO, Tokyo Electric Power Company, put up a temporary wall between the uh, reactor wreckage and the, uh, the ocean. But uh, this has really acted no nothing more than just like a dam, so that the water is building up behind the dam, and now it's breached the dam, it's spilling over, and the radioactive contamination is moving into the Pacific. But um, it's, uh, you know, right now we're seeing the, the Japanese government is in chaos. Uh, this, the fact that the revelation of this extensive contamination is coming now more than two years after the accident occurred uh, indicates that it's completely out of control. Mm -hmm. And uh, the command and control uh, is in chaos in Japan right now. And, and really, the big question is, why aren't they calling international aid to address the radioactive contamination of the Pacific Ocean? Why do you suspect they aren't calling international aid? The, the problems are, I think, clearly that uh, there's, there's no transparency. And the government and the industry, as documented by the Japanese Diet, their Congress, is that there's been a collusion all along. And uh, so what we're seeing is a veil being drawn over the accident to, to uh, promote an agenda for continue the restart of these reactors in Japan and uh, to try to contain uh, the uh, bad news rather than the radiation. That's very concerning because the radiation is much worse than just the news itself. Now, what can be done beyond these dams that you mentioned before in terms of contaminating the leakage? Well, the, the, you know, in order to contain the leaks, we have to isolate the radioactive waste. But indications are right now that the reactor structures themselves have been breached uh, it's very likely that the, um, some of the radioactive material, the melted cores, have moved into the earth. And the, uh, the, so the containing, it's beyond containment right now. I think that's the tragedy uh, that we see unfolding as Fukushima's radioactive water crisis is only beginning. That's very concerning. How far has this radiation spread and how fast is it going while it spreads? Again, some of the radioactive isotopes are more mobile than others. Radioactive tritium, uh -huh. uh, the hydrogen, it moves anywhere water goes because it is radioactive hydrogen and, and makes up a component of water. So um, the, the spread of the contamination is only going to be as effectively monitored as the technology is out there. And frankly, we don't know the full extent 
Uh, nobody really knows the full extent of the contamination at this point as it moves through uh, not only groundwater but also through the atmosphere and into ocean currents. So um, it, it's, we're in a very grave situation right now as the, uh, the Japanese government has uh, declared this is a new radiation emergency coming out of a worsening situation at Fukushima Daiichi. Now what does this mean for the people of Japan and around the world? I think that certainly the concern right now is that the people of Japan want more transparency mm -hmm. into what their government is or is not doing about this uncontrolled radioactive catastrophe. Uh, the meetings that are going on right now between industry and government are behind closed doors. So the Japanese people are asking for more transparency to, uh, to get a better understanding of just how un out of control this whole situation is. And that's going to be true for New Zealand, for Taiwan, for Korea, for China, uh, for all the, the, uh, the immediate Pacific nations, but ultimately it raises concerns for radio radioactive contamination in the uh, ocean currents in the Pacific. Well, very concerning. We appreciate your insight into this. Thank you for joining me here today. Thank you. That was Paul Guncher, director of the Reactor Oversight Project for BeyondNuclear.org. Hey, what up, everybody? <clears throat> Y'all just saw this crazy-ass video. King JB, uh, I actually got another article on my region, too, and that's why I'm in this little-ass box that you see. But at the end of the day, uh, I'm going to talk a little about... Uh, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and talk about this video real quick. This is the problem, and in no way is this an insult to the people of Japan, but Japan is just a fucked up place when it comes to our oceans. You look at all the, the illegal whaling that they do, I mean, you, you can see it on whale wars all the damn time. Uh, and then, same thing here, all this radiation, they're more concerned with the story getting out than they are with actually stopping the fucking radiation. I think most of America and most of the sheep that's out there they don't pay attention enough to even know what the fuck just happened to know that the Pacific Ocean is filled with radiation barrels and barrels every billion I mean barrels and barrels every tons and tons every day is being pumped out into the damn Pacific Ocean and for some reason some of you assholes don't even care don't even know all this damn information is on this internet, and some of y'all just don't know. I've never understood that. But anyway, with that being the case, you know, watching this video saddens me, because I always said, you know, since I heard it, I was like, this is two years ago this happened. I said, man, this shit's going to come back and bite us in the ass. It's going gonna, it's gonna to tear the oceans up. And now I'm glad to say I don't eat seafood, and I never have. I don't fuck with seafood. And now I'm glad I don't. Because of this shit right here. You know how much contamination is going to happen inside that damn seafood? I've been saying it was going to start killing people to eat seafood. And that's going to lead me to the article I'm about to show y'all today. As you see, holy fukushima. Radiation from Japan is already killing North Americans. By Jeremy Williams. It says you're going to want to use every share button at, the, but at the bottom of this article once you're done reading. So get ready. It's time to freak out. Maybe. Ain't no maybe to that shit. It's ready. It's time. It says if you live on the west coast of Canada or the United States, you're probably pretty much already screwed at this point. Thanks to the J Japanese earthquake and tsunami of 2011. No shit. Radiation levels are already increasing in the food and water. Babies born with thyroid issues linked to radiation are rising quickly. And governments in Canada and the United States are raising the acceptable levels of certain toxic substances in the food being shipped in from Japan. Do you see what that says? They're raising the acceptable levels. They're not stopping it from coming in. They're saying, okay, we used to be able to deal with this much, now we can deal with this much. It's like saying, I mean, that's like saying, okay, last year we said it was wrong to kill people. This year we'll give you a quota of one to two people you can murder. Do you see what I'm saying? You don't change the, the levels, acceptable levels, just because some sh bad shit's going on. How about you just stop getting fish from fucking Japan? 
and you stop fishing the Pacific waters for fish. I don't, I don't understand people, man. As you see, it's an interactive map. You see right here. This is Japan, and they're sorry ass. Look at all the radiation going out. I believe this is Hawaii, which may tells you how close we are to to this shit. It says in the article, this isn't a conspiracy theory. This is happening, and, ha and it's happening right now. No shit. The fancy little picture at the top of this article isn't showing you the flow of happy fun time thoughts from Japan back in March of 2012. It's showing you the flow of radiation from the Fukushima nuclear plant after the devastating earthquake and tsunami of 2011. Yes, that sharp pain you just felt in your chest is the sudden realization that the image shows the radiation reaching almost past Hawaii more than a year ago. Keep in mind, this picture was taken a year ago. More than a year ago. Imagine how much further it is now. This is radiation, man. The whole fucking Pacific. This is not good news. Do the math, it says. If the radiation screamed across the Pacific Ocean that far and in one year, just how far do you think it's gotten since then? Double that, right? Look at what World Truth TV is saying, and then you decide. It says, samples of milk taken across the U United States have shown radiation at levels 2,000% higher than the EPA maximums. The reason that milk is so significant is that it is representative, it is representative of the entire food supply. According to an article published on Natural News, Cows consume grass and are exposed to the same elements as food crops and water supplies. In other words, when cow's milk starts testing positive for high levels of radioactive elements, this is indicative of radioactive contamination of the entire food supply. Do you understand? We're all taking in radiation. All of us. And these assholes just won't give us free electricity, free energy, which they could. And we got to have all these damn... I just don't get... I don't, I don't get human beings, man. Why we even take this chance? Okay, to continue on. It says, if that doesn't scare the ever-living crap out of you, it does, then take a look at the list of foods you are now supposed to be wary of. You know, for the next 30,000 years. How can we protect ourselves? First, be aware of what items you are that are likely to be tainted. Highly tainted. Number one, seafood. Question the origin of all seafood. Fish and crustaceans from the Pacific should all be considered to be poisoned with radiation. First of all, you shouldn't be eating crustaceans anyway. It's dolphins and, and killer whales and shit. What the fuck's wrong with y'all? Number two, water. Great. The rainfall and snowfall are all radiated. Do not drink any water that has not been filtered. The tap water that flows from your faucet has not been treated to rid it of radioactive particles. A recent report from the New York Times stated, A rooftop water monitoring program managed by UC Berkeley's Department of Nuclear Engineering detected substantial spikes and rainborne iodine 131 during torrential downpours. We're fucked. In case you guys can't tell that already, we are fucked. Period. Number three, dairy products. Milk and milk products from the West Coast states currently have the highest levels of radiation in North America. No shit. Produce, leafy vegetables, wines, tomatoes, strawberries, all produce from California or any other West Coast state are likely to be tainted. Meat. If an animal eats any leafy vegetable along the West Coast, <clears throat> that animal has consumed radiation and is poisoned. This is any animal from cows, pigs, goats, sheep to wild deer and other game. That includes your sheep out there. 
If you eat the above foods from the areas with high radiation levels, you are eating radiation and feeding it to your children. Slowly, the radiation levels within your body will grow, build up. This is permanent. Your radiation levels will build up. You will grow an extra nut. You will grow a third pussy. You will be deformed. Do you understand what I'm telling you? Infant morality rates across the United States have increased by more than 35% since the nuclear disaster, according to the court statement by Dr. Sherman with independent scientists, blah, blah, blah. A study published in the International Journal of Medicine indicates that more than 20,000 deaths right here in North America can be directly attributed to the release of radioactive material from Fukushima. 20,000 motherfuckers gone. Radioactive isotopes or isotopes of the re type released from Fukushima have a half-life of 30,000 years. This means that we must permanently change the way we prepare our food. Wash your hands with soap and rinse it with filtered water. Be aware of the origins of your vegetables, fish, game, and seafood. Keep abreast of radiation levels to help monitor where your food is acquired. Use only filtered water for drinking, cooking, and ice. It's great. I don't know about the rest of you, it says in the article, but that one-way trip to colonize Mars is looking pretty damn attractive right now. No shit. Or that pink planet I just posted a story about. Go to that motherfucker too. Some of y'all need some damn sun. Anyways. I may even be one of them now I think about it. But anyway, the bottom line here is you guys see what's going on, man. I am I'm not making this shit up. You don't believe it? Research and Google the shit yourself. We all know about the Fukushima disaster. This is and now we got Nuclear plants in San Diego fucking up. We got nuclear plants all over the place fucking up. When are we going to get our, our, our mind right, humans? In the meantime, you're just going to keep feeding your children this bullshit, and they're going to turn into a damn giraffe or something. Do you understand? Probably not. Oh, well. At the end of the day, I'm done. King JB... Probably on his way to death because of radiation from Japan. Thank God I live in Florida. So I'm the farthest away from Japan than all you. Hopefully, uh, this thing stops at just 20,000 people. It won't, though, because nobody's going to stop it. There's going to be millions of people to die from this shit. And that's just the truth. Follow me at Twitter at OfficialKingJB. I'm out of here, man.